What was the last wedding that you went to? I mean, a wedding is quality, right? It'd be a bit weird if the bride and groom turned up, uh, just said their vows, and then just went home again like it was just a normal day. A bit of a non-event. No, because what we want to do is have a party when someone gets married. Why? Because we are celebrating the fact that people have just made massive, life-changing promises to each other. It's awesome. It's natural to party when something amazing happens. There are multiple parties in this bit of Luke's account of Jesus Christ. Jesus is on his way up to Jerusalem, where he knows he's going to die. I, I know it's, it's weird, isn't it? He knows that he's going to die there. He's speaking to everyone and telling them about God. And Jesus says that when one individual comes to genuine faith in God, there is a party. <laughs> the word is rejoicing, but you know what I mean. He makes the point in three different ways here. But on the last one, he makes it as clear as day. This isn't a long passage, and this isn't going to be a long video, because uh, this bit of Luke's gospel about Jesus, the good news about Jesus speaks for itself. Just look again at how Jesus speaks to the religious elite. Look at how the second son reacts and how the religious elite... Well, Jesus is making a point here that the religious elite are jealous. They're like the second son. God is inviting the marginalised in society into his kingdom. Doesn't that show his love for them? If, if you're not a believer, if you're not a Christian, then uh, can I ask you to think through how God would react if you said sorry for your sin and came back to a loving relationship with him? I'll tell you the answer to that. Party! Be amazing. For those of you who are Christians, then I, I wonder what your current attitude to sin is. When you read through, uh, have a look at the before and after picture being talked about here. Before Jesus and after Jesus, lost and found, dead and alive. Kaboom! Uh, this is a handwritten one, according to Steve, which can only tell me that he has come from his brain, uh, which could either be great or not. So here we go. Why did the turkey cross the road? Because it was the chicken's day off. 